So header tags on a page is again something that a lot of people ask about. How many can I use? What header tags shall I use? And all of that stuff. And obviously in the last video I showed you that um, on my page, this one is a header one tag, which is the prominent tag on a page. Header one is the most important one, saying what is an SEO audit, which is the main search term that I'm going after. Now, after that, you can use a whole bunch of other header tags like what is an SEO audit, technical SEO, off-page SEO, on-page SEO, and SEO audit services. So on that page, I've got four or five subheadings on there um, using H2 or H3 header tags. Now, a common question is, how many of these can I use? How many header one tags do I need to use? And the answer is one header one tag will do per page. Any subheadings, you can use header twos for the second most important search terms and header threes for something a bit, little bit um, less important. Now, again, I've shown you my example on a very short article. I will show you Neil Patel's example on a very long article. So um, Neil Patel has a SEO made simple, a step-by-step -step guide. That's his main header tag there. That is what his main keyword that he's targeting on with that particular page. Now, if we scroll down this page, you'll see that he has how search works, white, <coughs> white hat versus black hat. He has a whole bunch, and I would probably say he's got about 20 overall on this page. Now, this page is very, very long. So of course he can incorporate more headers. It has to be relative to the amount of content that you've got. So flicking back to my content, I've got about 600 words here and I've got three or four header tags on there where it's relevant, talking about off-page SEO, some stuff there and so on. So it is really important for me to make sure that I'm not overdoing the header tags, but for Neil Patel, he's able to segment all of the content on his website, talking about on-page versus off-page SEO. Um, these are all you know header two tags um, and header three tags. On-page SEO, and he's talking about content, which is subheading, keyword research, use of keywords, freshness of content, um, keyword selection. Um, so he's got a whole bunch of different search terms. Now, let me go to a tool like Ahrefs and we will use Neil Patel's example and I've done this in a previous video where I'm going to put in how many keywords that particular page actually ranks for. And that should rank, ranking at the moment for 3,500 keywords. Now, how does he get that page to rank for all of those search terms? It is using those subheadings. It is using the long form content strategy. But those subheadings, like what is SEO or Black Hat SEO or SEO process or what is SEO, is shown Google that this page is all about SEO, what is SEO, what is Black Hat SEO, how does SEO work, and a whole bunch of other search terms. So he has cleverly used multiple header tags to make sure that he ranks well. That is essentially how you can work it. So there is no number of header tags that you should use. You should have one main header one tag and the rest of your header tags are all going to be H2 or H3, and you're going to use that where it's appropriate throughout the length of your content. And those header tags are going to allow you to target a much wider, semantically related bunch of keywords. To keep it on topic. Do not talk about another topic. Keep it very relevant to the topic that is on that page, because that page is designed to rank for a whole bunch of search terms that are loosely related 
to that topic. So that is the best use of header tags with your on-page SEO.